Hello, Body and Messiah. Um, today, I'm coming before you. This is not a part of any lesson series. Um, I'm just coming before you to share a personal moment, a rare personal moment regarding my life and an event that has occurred in my life. And the only reason I'm sharing this is because um, it's associated with a vision dream that I had over 23 years ago. And the dream and slash vision that I had is applicable for now, for the present time. As you know, Sajiko Bible study is not about uh, any um, affiliation with a personal events or political group or religious denominations. It's only about sharing the truth of God's word, the whole truth of his word. So the only reason that I'm sharing this personal event that has occurred in my life is to share with you the vision slash dream that God gave to me over two decades ago. Some of you may know that I lost my mother about two weeks ago in a car accident um, and she's passed away. But the reason why I'm going back to this vision slash dream that I had is because there's a particular anointing that is passed down through our family. And me and my mother and my sister were known for sharing. Um, we, I personally rarely have them, rarely. Um, there are about a dozen, a dozen or so dreams that I've had in my life that it felt like I was there and actually could touch things and see things. Um, so that's why I call them dream slash vision. And these are ones where God warns me a particular thing and my family, and we're known to share them with each other. So over 23 years ago, um, I was traveling back and forth between my hometown and uh, the place where I was going to attend college at. And uh, while I was in my hometown and I had spent the night at home, you know, I woke up that morning because of the dream slash vision that I had was so clear of all the dreams that I've had this is the one that ranks at the top the highest as far as feeling as if you're there um, so after some hours had passed um, it was troubling to me also I began to share it with my mother and I began to tell her I said mom I had a dream it just felt so real um, but it's about I don't know if it's going to be me or you or some female in our family is going to be in a car accident. And um, so I'm going to try and explain it to you. I don't think it's for a current today right now, but I think it's for a time to come. Um, because as I describe the dream to you, um, you'll begin to understand. So in this dream uh, vision, I'm looking at a headline. And the headline reads, tragic accident crash in my hometown, you know, the uh, hometown, the little small hometown. And so as I'm looking at the headline, I knew it was me, you know, um, it felt like this accident was applicable to me and had happened and I had passed away. And as I began to close my eyes and weep, I began to say, but Lord, um, what about my family? Um, I don't want them to worry or hurt. And Lord, I want them to know about the things that are about to come, the things that are about to unfold, basically according to your word, like the mark of the beast. And so as I'm closing my eyes and I begin to weep and I open my eyes, I'm in this pristine, beautiful place. Um, the place had a beautiful pool. It was like marble and grass on the ground. It was just beautiful. There was a, a, some bench tables around where other people besides myself were sitting, kind of waiting. And the tables were like, I don't know, some type of marble or concrete or something. It was beautiful, pristine, peaceful. Um, it was just so peaceful. That's all I can, how I can describe it. But as I'm sitting there, I know that I'm waiting for something. And I began to weep again, thinking about my family and being concerned if they're okay or not. And so as I do, um, Calame, who is my grandmother, but my mother's mother, 
uh, her presence came. She put her arm around me and she began to wipe my tears away and said, honey, it's okay, it's okay. And I'm like, but, but my family, my children. Now at that time, I had no children, no kids. I was married, um, but I'm weeping. And um, she's comforting me, saying, it's okay. The Lord is going to let them know. And so I try to get, regain my strength and composure. And, you know, because I know where I'm at is so beautiful and peaceful. And then all of a sudden, there were, as I described to my mother, this lets me know that the dream was probably for a time, a future time. Because there were two Sadies, two my grandmother, Callie Mae, my mother's mother, has a sister named, we call Aunt Sadie. That was her name, Sadie. And I have a grandmother on my father's side who we call my dear, but her literal name is Grandma Sadie. So the Sadies appeared and they began to also comfort me and wipe the tears away. And they were saying, don't worry, the Lord is going to let them know. It's okay, the Lord is going to let them know. And so, as I'm sharing this dream vision with mom, I said, Mom, Aunt Sadie and Grandma Sadie have not passed away. They're still alive. So that's what make, leads me to believe this dream is for a future time. And she said, okay, baby, okay. I said, but Mom, just listen for a second. When I look up at the sky, this beautiful place, it was as if the sun was setting and it was beginning to be like nightfall and and the stars, you could like reach up and touch them. They were just so near to you. Uh, the moon was so big and clear like you could touch it. And as I'm looking up at the sky, all of a sudden, me and others who were around see this hand just go across the sky. And we're baffled. We're just sitting there with in awe. And I knew it was the hand of our Messiah, our Savior, Yeshua. And as the hand goes across the sky, it's as if a choir who's leading to be to stand up. You hear this voice internally, but it reverberates like the whole world could hear it. And the voice says, come up here. And as he says, come up here, everybody, thousands of people are lifted up, going towards him. And there was this peace, serenity. Um, that's the peace that passes all understanding. Um, everything was perfect and okay as you're grazing towards our Messiah. And it was as if all the tears and worry and pain, everything was wiped from my eyes. So I told my mom as I'm raising up and going towards it, and it's like, oh my God, everything is perfect. I wake up and I sit up and I'm like, mom, that's when I wake up because it felt like I was there. And I told her that's how my dream ended. And so on that note, I told her, I said, um, I don't know what time this is for, but it felt so real that I had to share it with her. I said, it could have been for me. Um, so, you know, we told each other we'd both be careful and driving and everything. But God knows I had no idea that this dream was for over two decades later. And so, um, in losing my mother in this car accident, I know that everything that I experienced and felt, she's gone through. And I know she's okay and she's happy and she's resting in the bosom of Abraham. I know for such a time as this, we're seeing all these prophecies unfold. We're seeing the beginnings of like the mark of the beast and all these things that are happening now that are for the current time. And body of Messiah, I'm only sharing this personal moment with you in order to share this vision slash dream and to make you aware that we're in this time. And we have to hold strong to the truth of our God's word and hold on to trusting in him with our whole heart. Because there are going to be trying times that increase as we move forward. And we have to give our trust in him in order for us to have comfort. This is the only reason I'm sharing this personal moment with you guys. Know the truth of his word and trust in him with your whole heart.
He's going to pull you through anything that we may go through as a people who are descendants of Abraham and a people who are not, who trust, who are grafted in, who trust in our gods, who trust in the salvation he's given us through our Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. Well, body and Messiah, um, this is the end of this message. As I always say, God cover you and envelop you with his shalom peace. Goodbye.